Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I've decided to go fight uh, Dokkan right now. Um, so let's see. I'm going to make some final adjustments here to the team. As you can see, I brought everyone out. Anyone that can fight is going to fight in this. I'm going to start with Kit Fisto in the front. Uh, this could either go very bad or very good. We'll see. But it's going to take me forever to actually train. So, I'm going to just bite the bullet and fight him. So, let's see how this goes. Hopefully good. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? An entire team wipe? That is, in fact, the worst that could happen. So, let's go. Yo, finally got here, huh? Wasn't in the mood at Cinnabar Island, but now I'm ready. Tell me you conquered all the gyms in Jeddo? Huh, Jojins must be pretty pathetic then. <laughs> hey, don't worry about it. I'll know if you're good or not by battling you right now. Ready, Johto boy? Damn. Alright, let's see how bad this first Pokemon is. As long as it's not like 10 levels difference, it shouldn't be too bad. Alright, that's very bad. That's actually awful. Uh, Rock throw? Why am I faster? Oh yeah, the, the Fang. Okay. So Pidgeot has no moves that could hurt Kid Fisto, I think. Oh, that's bad, because it switches me out, doesn't it? Yes, it does. I mean, Quetz could fight, but also... You're not hurting Kid Fisto, so I'm bringing him back out. Yeah, that's what I fucking thought. Punk-ass bird. Get hit by the rock throw. I am outrunning a Pidgeot. That's hilarious. It's dead. Alright. Let's see who's next. Uh, probably something that can kill Kid Fisto in one hit. That'll do it. That, that'll do it. Alright. Nux, it is your turn. Fuck, are you kidding me? He's level 58? Oh, he's charging his beam. Did I not heal? Did I not heal before? Oh, God. I don't think Nux gets one shot with this. But just in case, I'm gonna give him a little lemonade. Sip, my brother. I didn't even realize that he wasn't healed. Still dealt a lot, to be honest. Now I'm afraid he's gonna use a psychic move or something. So I'm just very quickly going to use... Hyper Potion? Let's see what happens next. He's gonna charge another solar beam at me. He can only do this five times, so... I'm just gonna use smoke screen. What if... What if he just doesn't hit me? How about that? How about if you just don't hit me anymore? Never mind. You're apparently still gonna hit me. Don't crit, don't crit, don't crit, don't crit. Alright. I mean, I think I can actually give him a lemonade and he'll be fine. Let me see, where are you, lemonade? 80. Yeah, he'll be fine. He just needs a little sip of that lemonade. I mean, at this point, I'm just gonna start attacking. Flame wheel. Hopefully I can inflict burn or something. Such a high level difference though, god damn. Thankfully we're at a point now that I can still deal damage with super effective moves. Okay, okay. Feed him that tasty, tasty lemonade. Gotta yeah, thank that old man later for giving me all this lemonade. I'm also healing now, because I don't want Nux to be injured when I kill this Executor. Executor. Alright, so he's probably going to bring out a water Pokemon that will completely destroy me. Um, let's just hope it's one that isn't also a flying type. Alright, let's see. Let's see what we got here. All 
right on. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna go with Jolene, because I'm pretty positive nothing right on does hurts Jolene. It's <sighs> still gonna hurt. Right? Yeah, it's gonna hurt. Giga Drain! Suck. Give me those tasty, tasty nutrients. Now, I know for a fact, the only Pokemon I know for sure that I can remember is that he has an Alakazam. So the Alakazam is the only Pokemon I fear! Good god! Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Doing pretty good! Working on. Uh, let's see. We're gonna go back to Kit Fisto. I'm pretty positive he doesn't have any moves that would actively hurt me. What does he? quickly just switch to Butterfing and see what he does. It's too much of- it's too high of a level difference, and what I remember from my skid is this thing constantly beating me. Okay, that's not bad. I think I can rest and heal up all this. Yeah, I can rest up and heal all this. That's actually what I'm gonna do. Use it again. Thank you. I love that. I love it when you do that. Good job, Butterfang. Hang in there. Good. Sleep, my friend. Sleep. Okay. Snore. I should remember to heal Kit Fisto as well. No crit? Alright, good. Let's see how much Snore does, actually. much, but it's better than nothing. Alright, let me quickly give, I think, a lemonade. No, he needs... No, he, he's good with a lemonade. Slam that lemonade, friend. Yeah. And he should be able to survive this, no problem. Unless he gets a crit, in which case Butterfing is unfortunately dead. Yeah, yeah. It's to be expected. Uh, let me see. Hyper Potion. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Feeling good, feeling good. This is gonna be a definite issue, though. There's that crit I was worried about. Right on time. So let's just quickly go back in here and give old Butterfing another hyper potion. <laughs> Come on. Thank god we have like a dude who can just literally tank it all. How much of this fucking move do you have, friend? I was about to say, if you got another one. Slightly miffed. I'm gonna use. I'm gonna try and see if I can paralyze him with a body slam. I was about to say, if he crits me, then I'm dead regardless of anything, so. I know he wakes up, right? He does not wake up. Okay. Why? Why didn't he wake up? Did I underestimate how many turns it's been? Has it only been one turn? Because I used Snore- oh yeah, it has to be two turns. I used Snore, that was the second turn, so it's actually three turns. Okay. 
Okay, okay, okay. Use your damn flamethrower. I like the idea of Butterfang just taking all these flamethrowers to the face and just being okay with it. Just like, <laughs> non-stop being set on fire. Man on fire. Alright, let's see. He wakes up. Body slam. I need you to paralyze. Yes! Alright! Way to go. Way to plant, Egg. You got him. I cannot believe how well we're doing. Turns out, with enough planning, you can actually beat Pokemon way higher than you. That's the beautiful thing about Pokemon, though. Let's see. Body Slam. If I have enough HP left over, I think I'll just rest. He lived. Let's see how much HP he has left over. I think that's enough to not get one shot by. Of course. I mean, he was bound to use one eventually. I need you to uh, I need you to parry sla bar bar slam. I need you to paralyze once again with your body slam. Damn. It's all right, Butterfang. You deal enough damage to the damn dude that it's not much of an issue. Who knew Butterfang would end up being the MVP at the at the end of this run? He's really uh, made a name for himself, which is impressive considering the the large amount of dudes we just have. What? Butterfing is fucking faster than Arcanine? Are you kidding me? I didn't remember that being a thing. Do we have the same um, speed? Why am I faster? I'm not gonna risk it. Even though I think I'm faster, I'm not going to risk it and use Body Slam, because if he wins that, then I'm dead. Okay. <sighs> of course. Can I really fault a man for doing the same tactic that I've been doing to him this entire time? Alright, Body Slam. There's a part of me that really wants to use Rollout, but I'm not going to get pa I'm not going to live past using it twice. Alright, I need you to not crit on this. Alright, not bad. And also on this one, I need you to again, not crit, and also not burn me. What? Did he run out of... He must have run out of it. Alright, Butterfing wins! It was a war of attrition, basically. Nice. Kid Fist to level 46. You'd love to see it. I forgot how many Pokemon were involved in this fight. Alright, let's see who's next. There he is. Actually, hmm. I'm gonna bring in Nightmare because he has Psychic. Now this is a War of the Minds. One, using his advanced psychic strength. The other, using his advanced psychic headbutt. I like to think that they actually created Zen Headbutt with the idea of only giving it to Nightmare. Of, of, for specifically uh, Hypno, I mean. Because who else would use it, ever? I'm gonna see if I can make him go to sleep. Try and flash him though. That's funny that you tried that. Then it failed. I think that's very funny. Alright. Gonna heal up Butterfing. Do I have a tasty lemonade? No, I don't. I'm all out of tasty lemonade. Give that to Butterfang. And then probably the next psychic blast I will heal up Nightmare. 
The good thing about Psychic is that it is extremely strong, but it also only has 10. So... He's about to use Reflect, too. Because if he doesn't use Reflect, then Nightmare completely bodies him with one headbutt. You have to do it, dude. If you don't do it, you lose. Okay, you lose. Wow, you hate to see it. Imagine being one of the world's strongest psychic Pokemon and getting punked out constantly by a tapir. By a tapir that you're not even your crits could stop. By a tapir who's, who's a damn soccer hooligan. Whose only form of communication is literally headbutting you to death. And granted, if I did not have these hyper potions, I would be dead, but still. And he missed, because he got flashed once. I forgot you had recover. Whatever, doesn't matter. Headbutt. I really wish that it was possible to confuse this man. I mean, I'll just keep doing this. I can do this all day. Here's the funny thing. I'm almost positive that the only move he actually has is Psychic. That's the one problem with a lot of AI-controlled um, Alakazams, is that they only have Psychic. And they the, only, the other moves they have is like Disable, Reflect, Light Screen, or Recover. And I think he's already used all his moves, actually. Yeah, actually he does. He only has Recover, Psychic, um, Reflect, and Disable. Damn. How does it feel like to live in fear of the headbutt? I mean, granted, I can't do this forever. <laughs> but also, he can't heal forever, so... Eventually, I will crit. Oh, damn it. Alright, time to try and see if I can make him fall asleep. If he does, then I'll just swap in Butterfang and completely destroy his entire life. Okay. Guess who's coming in? You love him. You know him. It's Butterfang. Oh, Butterfang. I want you to completely destroy this Alakazam. He's gonna about to be so totally wrecked. Once again, another Alakazam falls to the to the very strong might of Nightmare. Now granted it was the body slam that took him down, but you can't deny what um uh what was brought to the table is what I was trying to say. Alright, it's Gyarados. Even if it's level 58, at this point I've beaten so many of these dudes that I don't care. Oh, he's gonna use Hydro Pump, isn't he? Oh, he's gonna use Hyper Beam! Jesus Christ! Alright, Butterfang, survive! Oh no. Oh yes. And that's it. That's all she wrote, so ladies and gentlemen. Because he needs to recharge and I don't. He needs to recharge, and I don't. Goodbye! Oh, yes. Mm. And that's the- you cannot see the grin that I currently have on my face. It is huge. <laughs> I can't believe I won! <laughs> what? How the heck did I lose to you? It's a good-ass question. <laughs> Thank you for the earth badge. Mmm. Suck it. Mm, 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 suck it. You're the real deal. You're a good trainer. I'm gonna beat you someday. Don't you forget it. Me. Out of my damn face, loser. Alright. Uh, let me go talk to Oak, because that's gonna be the thing that unlocks me to be able to go to Mount Silver, which where we will fight Red. Let me go. Let me go. We do seriously need to train one of the Pokemon, though. Like, real talk, though. They can't survive at level 40 forever. That's right. Yeah. Yay. 
My Pokedex is bad. All right, everyone, that's the end of today's episode. I hope you liked it. I'll see you in the next one. You guys have a good day out there. Goodbye.